Firefighters battling the flames in the Keys after Hurricane Ian. This fire broke out in a building in Key West, and we turn now to Local 10 News reporter Cody Weber. He joins us live from the scene. Hey, Cody. Hey, this fire is almost out here in Key West. Firefighters really have been battling it throughout the morning. Uh, everybody here wondering whether last night's bad weather is what sparked this fire, but that doesn't matter much for the 14 households who lived here. They're now homeless. I'm sick, sick to my stomach. Residents and business owners reeling after their building in Key West caught fire early this morning. I, I don't know how to recover from this. I, I don't know what the next step is. I think I, I, I'm just in shock right now. Key West firefighters working all morning to control the flames, even spraying the building next door, fearing the fire would jump. The roof of the building collapsing as the fire continued to burn. The apartment filled up with smoke. I called 911 and got the heck out. I'm, what are you going to do? Located 15 minutes north of downtown, the building houses 14 apartment units on the second floor and a handful of shops on the first. Residents now speculating about whether wind and rain from Hurricane Ian played a part in sparking the fire. That's what I was concerned about was surviving a hurricane and then we got through that just to find out that we lost everything in a fire. And I did just speak to the fire marshal here on the scene. He told me it's still just too early to know what sparked this fire. The Red Cross is also here on the scene helping those uh, who need help to find shelter uh, for the coming days. We're reporting this in Key West. I'm Cody Weddle, Local 10 News. And Cody, we know you've been out there all morning. Do you see any more damage? I mean, this is pretty extensive, this fire, but have you seen flooding or any other damage in the area? We have seen extensive flooding throughout the area. Many people here in Key West have told us uh, they woke up to uh, water in their homes and apartments, some up to their ankles, some uh, up, to their, up to their waist. I even spoke to one woman who said uh, she had to go rescue her son because his home uh, had water up to the waist. So I think the damage we're seeing at this point in Key West is mostly due to flooding. All right, all right, Cody, we will check in back in with you a little later this afternoon. Thank you.